okay first issue there was a hissing as soon as it powered up and that's right over here some sort of dust or technically I didn't clean it properly so that is arcing the HV to the chassis so I have to clean all this cable this is the anode cable to the CRT so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this so this is the high voltage section and uh, the hissing I finally traced out to be coming from here so let me clean that up and uh, make sure that there is nothing else sitting there which is causing some sort of short circuit so it's coming in definitely from this place uh, from the HV out which I've cleaned I've disconnected the CRT HT because of the hissing okay safety warning if you ever unplug the HT connector and operate the scope you have to discharge it before you touch it or connect it so not sure if you can hear it but as you come closer answer this and never do this while the scope is powered on even after power off <laughs> don't touch any of these terminals ask me how do I know even if you have discharged the anode connector these points still hold charge because of the voltage multiplier and the filter capacitors in there so be careful discharge everything here before you try to clean or get into this portion of the high voltage circuit I've uh, cleaned all the connections contacts you know PCB cables everything around this place and um, this connecting wire as well apparently it's not a huge gap from the chassis frame to the HV out plug in there okay I have done some modification to reduce the arcing or corona um, I've added some uh, thermal uh, sheet which is basically thermally conductive and electrically insulating sheet so I've kind of put a layer of that um, on the back side also I'm gonna get some corona dop uh, to fill these things in so that you know that this is the last output stage of the high voltage uh, so that it doesn't arc over to the body so I just put an order for that and hopefully that will show up in the next few days probably the corona dop would have uh, died down by now and uh, plus with the cleaning to remove all the dust and debris that would have you know weaken that thing even further so I'll do one more coating of corona dope once it arrives and I'm also going to cover the HV shield with uh, the plastic sheet here I was not happy with the physical spacing between the high voltage uh, points and the chassis so I went ahead and used that sheet you know all over the place until my uh, dope arrives even at the final output point for the high voltage it's very close to the chassis and the cross beam okay this is the stuff I've used to coat the high voltage points the HV ceramic strip and uh, connections it comes with a brush and um, the spec for this is in the uh, data sheet I'll uh, put it down here it's not supposed to be the safest thing on earth um, you know don't drink this thing if you're planning any reproductive exercise I'm anyway gonna keep the insulation sheet there okay I've installed the high voltage uh, protection cover as well so it's all done okay attempt two same setup meters are wired to every power rail and let's power it up okay it's up let's look at the power supply voltages minus 150 is good plus 100 at 97 which is okay plus 350 is right on the spot 225 is at 224 and plus 500 is at uh, 503 sorry for the glare that's good now let's get, get back to the scope now you'll see something funny on the screen which can indicate some sort of HP issue again but let's see Oh yeah, there you go. Hey ho, I have, I have a beam. Some disturbance is still there, but that's okay. And uh, let me change the time base. Uh oh, 
okay let me switch off the light and hopefully now we can see the bee okay so we have a trace and um, let me see if I can oh yeah that's coming okay with the focus okay I've turned this guy upside down so that I have access to the time base uh, portion of the chassis and uh, let's start looking around for trouble and see if we can you know find out what's going on so as we are in this position let me explain to you something which is interesting with the physical orientation of the oscilloscope if you really keep the rack mount oscilloscopes in this position this is exactly how the normal versions come out where you have the CRT on the left all the main controls on the right side and the plug-in right below the CRT it's just that the plug-in is uh, rotated by 90 degrees for the rack mount version and rest all of the stuff whether it's the time base power supply and you know uh, horizontal amplifier and vertical sections all remains the same exactly how you would do it in a normal version okay let me power it up now this time I have line voltage applied to it I'm not no longer uh, controlling the input voltage and let me change the horizontal selection switch there you go that's right over here let me increase the intensity and I have the trace so a time base is dead but I'm not worried about that we can fix that could be one of these controls or you know if tubes maybe loose or uh, you never know it could be even the tunnel so let's come back to B good I have the trace have the sweep magnifier which is working uh, let me reduce the intensity a little bit and focus the time base seems to be just free running I don't see any response to the time base so that's not good but I do have position so this is something interesting that's in dual trace mode okay I have both the traces now this is in chop mode alt seems to be not very happy but it's okay we'll figure that out right now what we know that the high voltage is working the CRT section is good we have something on this on the screen we are not sure whether it's the right uh, trace or not because I don't see any response from my time base it's supposed to be changing as I move it so we'll figure that out it's interesting the high voltage flickering the CRT flickering has vanished now high voltage seems to be stable Astig is good focus is also good can't complain scale illumination definitely is working time base B is good A is dead no response go to time base A B again yep reduce the intensity good so let me now try applying some input signal I part it up again and um, let's see what do we see now Do we have something? Yes, no? That seems to be broken somewhere. I don't think it is a simple issue because it seems to be completely erratic. If you look at it, single sweep is not doing single sweep. And uh, A time base is not responding. Delayed is doing single sweep. That's a bit interesting. So let me look around and see what's going on. This is very interesting. Okay, found the next problem. Watch this indicator. This says time base B and time base A. Now, whereas the horizontal display switch is at external one. So there seems to be. And now the switch says time base B. And uh, the indication is on time base A. So this is probably a pretty silly stupidity from my side. I've installed this uh, knob 
in the wrong position. I've been trying to figure out what's going on with this uh, horizontal display switch and uh, what is the orientation. I don't know. I've been thinking about it, but I, I didn't get any clear reason why this was all messed up all the way around. I know the knob position is wrong, but I'm not able to figure out what's going on. So as a last resort, I've decided to take some alcohol and uh, clean my brain with it. And within a few seconds, I figured out what's wrong. While the time base was in time base B, and if I had just time base A, it's changing. So, yeah, I need to idiot proof myself first before I fix uh, scopes. So, let me fix that knob thing and then we will come back. Okay, before I change the knob, I just adjusted the trigger level and I could see this is now changing properly so it's, it's all good the intensity what you see here which going off that's actually an HP issue because I can still hear hissing from the HP side so most likely I'll end up opening up or you know dismantling the entire HP assembly and cleaning it and put it back together because it's still arcing out there this is supposed to be the position of the horizontal display switch where the clockwise or the maximum clockwise position should be at x1 and uh, then to extend the counterclockwise, it should stop at time base B. That's the way it's supposed to be. Let's test it out. I'll cut the light so that you can see the beam. Okay, it's up now. And let me go to time base A. That's time base A. Now let me change the trigger. So trigger control is working and um, trigger level is also working for time base A. Let me come back and try the same thing on time base B. Trigger controls are working. Good. Back to time base A. Time base control is also working. So that's good. And then let me go to single sweep and see if that's working. Yeah. So I have single sweep as well and last let me see how the delay trigger is gonna work so let me move to be intensified by a and start turning the delay trigger knob and yes it is moving so delay trigger is good I can start sweeping through the waveform technically all the functions are working now it's time for me to get back in to the high voltage section as I was trying to test it it developed a new problem as you can see this is what is on the CRT with the intensity in minimum position and the whole cracking noise and this is the source of the problem let me get the sound for you so that you get a feel of what's happening That's from the HV connector. I've removed the whole front panel ports and uh, trying to clean the HV connector. And hopefully that should fix the problem. That's about it. It's all done. And the trace is really sharp now. And I have all the controls. There is no HV arcing or corona. So, it's all done so that's all it's back up and running and um, right now what you see is uh, a dual trace or an alt trigger with delayed triggering mode where it's be intensified by a mode that's what it is running now let me switch off the light so that you can see the trace uh, it's a pretty sharp trace unfortunately it doesn't come properly on the video but i'm quite happy with the trace so that's about it and uh, thank you for watching there's a part three of the video where i will cover the internals and do a tour of uh, each section in detail so look out for that thanks again